I always go back to the drawing board uh, going into each year and I, I really try to be honest with myself and I analyze what I could have done better. training and, and diet and, you know, recovery work and, you know, is there, is there anything else I can add to the mix that, that will make me better? Then 2017 will be better than 2016 and better than 2015 and, you know, so on. And that's, that's really the goal. I mean, my biggest goal is to come into every contest better than I've ever been. And, you know, I should have a really good chance of winning. My name is Brian Shaw. I am from Brighton, Colorado, and I'm the world's strongest man. For a top-level strongman, the main contests that you, that you want to compete in are the Arnold and World's Strongest Man. Those are the top two events, and they rival each other. If you can ideally win both of those in the same calendar year, without a doubt, you know that, that you're the world's strongest man. I was uh, really hoping after 2011 when I won the Arnold that year, I won by the biggest points margin ever. I was really hoping that would continue because um, that year I almost didn't have to do the last event, but it always seems to get tighter and closer and all the guys seem to get stronger and, and better and more efficient at the events. And so just trying to stay ahead of that curve is, is the game that I play. Look at all that fun stuff. Get all that fun stuff. This last year, obviously, I became a dad. Okay, buddy, here we go. Ooh, that's a good bite. That's a good bite. I'm probably more nervous about being a good dad, and it's been more of a challenge uh, to attack that, I think, than, than training and competition, but it's a very rewarding challenge. I'm still in training for being a good dad, 100%. I think strongman contests have been uh, I would have to say it's been easier than trying to be a good dad. But I'd like to think I'm winning it both. Yeah. <laughs> right, dude? Yeah. I've done okay with diaper changing. Yeah, he's been, there's been a few that have been doozies. We'll put it that way. Uh, he's, he's certainly skilled at uh, filling up a diaper. <laughs> so look how strong I am. Look how strong I am. It's been fun. At the end of the day, I want to make my family proud, all that, but I want, I want my son to be proud of me. You know, when he gets old enough to understand what I've done, you know, I want him to say, hey, that was my dad doing that, you know? If his dad is the strongest man in the world, that's a pretty cool thing, too. Random keg tossing winner, that's awesome. I, I probably know better than anybody what it's like to come second place at the Arnold, because I've done it now three times, right? And all of those, I think, were within a point. It was so close, and so the way that I go back and look at my training, my prep is, I'm going for one more point through, the, through all five events, right? So if I can pick up one point or half a point or whatever, all those things are critical and crucial to winning. One of the things that I've always liked to add into my recovery process is contrast baths, so hot and cold baths. This one right now, yeah, I think I just saw it was at 105. That other one, I think I have it set at uh, 50 or 51. Uh, I really feel like it speeds up my recovery and just helps my body overall. This one is super enjoyable. That one is the one that makes me feel even better though. My cold tub is 10 inches deeper because I'm not normal size. As far as I know, there's only two of them. I have one and Shaquille O'Neal has one. This year at the Arnold, the contest I think will, will be interesting. It always is interesting. Um, there's, there's always different factors and things change around and each event plays its role. And certainly the last event uh, out of five is gonna be, make a big difference. The four events that we know of right now are the log, which is gonna be done in the same fashion that it was in 2016. The uh, yoke, or the bale tote, is gonna be done in the same fashion that it was, but heavier. Uh, the uh, timber carry up the ramp will be done the same way 
but heavier. And then uh, we'll do the deadlift again, and it'll be done with the same bar and the same plates. And, you know, obviously we call our own weights, but most likely that will go heavier. So with the first four events, I'm, I'm, I feel good. I mean, I feel good. I mean, they're good, heavy events. Um, and, you know, typically they suit me pretty well. For example, in my training session yesterday, I moved somewhere between 50 and 60,000 pounds of total volume of weight. But if you were to take that over my full career, it'd be somewhere around 100 million pounds of weight. I love the challenge of strongman. That's, that's what I love. I love the constant challenge uh, that it presents and how it pushes me. It pushes me uh, and drives me to be better. And I like that. I like testing myself against the best and, and pushing myself uh, you know, to new levels.